guys, so welcome to another WoW video. And for today, as promised, we are going over on Goro Madness. So I said I would try my best to remember to do this this year. And uh, it, it may be the last day of the event, but, you know, we made it. We made it. So here is Ungoro Madness. Obviously, you got to go to Ungoro Crater for it. Best way to get there, the way I chose, was the BFA portal. So go to, go to BFA, uh, go to Silithus, and there's a portal right in the uh, BFA portal room. And, uh, and then you just kind of fly over from there. I found that to be the fastest way. So Ungoro Madness is for a couple of days every year. Uh, it'll start on the 17th, pretty much at the beginning of the day, and then it ends at the end of the day on the 19th. The reason to do this, uh, well, my reason was this video, <laughs> but reasons you may be interested. Sharp Claws gets you a damage increase. Bone is uh, damage taken decreased. Lightning speed increases your movement speed, and then massive increases your size. There's also a fifth buff, and that one's called Awesome. You get that when you hit your 21st stack, so you need just over the 20 stacks, and that will get you 10% every additional stack of the buffs. And yeah, so how you get these buffs is these, there's like 10 bosses out there that you can kill and they all drop one dino mojo and you just find a buddy. I had actually asked my friend slash guildmate if he wanted to come help me with a video. And uh, so we, we were applying the buff on each other. And uh, so that really sped things up, plus other people randomly would, like, add an extra buff to us and stuff. So, so yeah, so that gets you adaptation that will pretty much list all your, all your buffs there. Um, it sounds like your buffs won't vanish if you're in an instance or, or PvP, but they will be disabled. So there's a good chance you could go into like an instance or a PvP and then come back and your buffs are fine. So really these buffs are only good for out in the world. Uh, I personally think that the damage increase alone would be kind of worth it to uh, do, especially if you're like soloing some stuff in Dragonflight maybe. Um, I was surprised that I was able to find a raid group so easily for this event because it's kind of, you know, I'm going to be completely honest. It's a useless event, right? The average person isn't going to come all the way out here, find a raid group to kill, you know, 73 elites just for some damage increase, right? So, uh, so yeah, I, I think the trading post because, uh, there are, there are people unlike myself that do the trading post after day one and, <laughs> and they wait for like the really, really easy tasks. So yeah, and this happened to be one of them. So, uh, so yeah, I think without this task being on the trading post, um, it, it might have been tougher to actually make this video and, you know, group up with a decent sized group because, like, don't let them make you believe that they're not tough because they are. The first one I approached when I got out here had, like, 65 mil health, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, the, these you need a legit raid team. Yeah, and good heals is beneficial. Like, yeah. So it's a lot of work, you know. I was surprised that even people chose to do it for the uh, trading post, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, I thought that was fun for the one and only time I'll ever do it, you know. I, you know, I mainly did it so that next year when I'm doing well weekly and 
I'm talking about how this week is, you know, ungirl madness. I can just link the video, right? That's kind of, that's the whole motive here. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but if you are interested and you're watching it literally the day I post it, you, you have till the end of tonight. And, uh, and then after that, it won't be back around for another year. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.